How's everyone doing? I got a package in the mail and I know that it's from Horror Pack. And if you don't know what Horror Pack is, it's a monthly subscription based service where every month they send you four horror DVDs or horror Blu rays, depending on your choice. And a lot of times they have uh, exclusives that are you, know, you can only get through Horror Pack. And sometimes they'll have autographed items or steel books, all kinds of cool stuff. And I love this concept. But let's go ahead and get into it. This is the May horror pack and they usually send them at the end of the month and I do like the packaging as well it's the box and then they got the bubble mailer inside so it's some extra protection which I appreciate and I don't know what's in here I've purposely avoided everybody's videos and posts about it so this is gonna be we're gonna find out together what's in here if you don't know yet I don't know so let's see the first one is all right uh, last house on the left uh, collection edition unrated this is the original one and i remember when i first saw this uh come out uh this edition i didn't realize it, it was the original because of the artwork it made me think of the the newer one um i am not the biggest fan of this one uh i actually prefer the remake over uh the original wes craven's uh last house on the left uh i don't know i feel like it was maybe for the time it was really shocking and you know all that kind of stuff but it just had so much hype that when i watched it it just didn't quite live up to it and i didn't really think it was uh that depraved or shocking or gruesome or anything like that um yeah it's a gang of uh people uh convicts who uh they, they kidnap somebody and they kind of end up at the person's house and just everything's revealed and comes together and i don't know i just uh for me it, it, i i guess i feel like i'm like the only one that isn't a huge fan of this movie but let me know what you guys think and i know there's going to be a new release for this coming out too Next up is, uh, this is one, okay, I have not seen this one, so that's pretty cool, and uh, I feel like that's one of the things I do appreciate about uh, Horror Pack, they have a mixture of you know mainstream titles and then some obscure ones, lesser known stuff, uh, indie stuff, so I really like that, because uh, again, I have a pretty massive horror Blu-ray collection, so uh, to get stuff that I don't already have, it's kind of hard to come by, but I love this, because especially they have the exclusives, which you can only get them through the uh, the horror pack, so I, that's a big thing too. Uh, but I know of this movie, but I have never seen it. Um, I remember seeing the trailers for it and reading about it before. Uh, they're in an abandoned cabin of friend, uh, two friends. One is trying to uh, get off of uh, uh, meth, crystal meth, I guess, and uh, he the other friend chains him up, I guess, and just kind of you know tries to get him to go cold turkey. And then uh, I guess basically weird things start happening around the house. Uh, and that's really all I know about it. They say it's genre bending. Uh, I've heard some mixed reviews for it, but this is one I wanted to check out for a while, so that is pretty cool. And Resolution is directed by Justin Benson and Aaron Scott Moorhead, who also directed Spring, which is super underrated. And here it is right here. I've got my, uh, one of my two horror Blu-ray bookcases right next to me. Uh, Spring, I never hear anybody talk about this one. Um, I, I felt like I got like a bit of buzz and hype when it first came out and then just kind of like dissipated but really underrated fantastic horror romance movie and it's done very well great atmosphere uh great cinematography and just a really cool storyline i love how it plays out and i would highly recommend spring and you can get this on draft house films a uh, really nice release i like what they do with the releases as well but uh, i know uh this directing duo they work together a bunch uh justin benson and aaron scott moorhead and they have a new one coming out called uh, The Endless, which looks awesome. Uh, very creepy looking from the trailers. I've seen the trailers a few times, and I know the blu ray is coming out uh, soon through Wellgo USA. It's called The Endless. It's like a religious cult movie. And again, I can't stress how creepy it looks from the trailer. Check the trailer out for that. So I know these two um, have some good directing chops, especially like Spring blew me the heck away. So again, I would definitely recommend Spring. And... and uh, Another reason for me to look forward to a uh, resolution right there with that directing duo. And I will say this, that the blurbs are so ridiculous on all of these movies. I feel like a lot of these writers just say these things to get on the covers of the Blu-rays and DVDs and movie posters. Puts the, uh, the cabin in the woods to shame, says the village voice. I That's hard to imagine. Um, yeah, some of the blurbs just, uh, I don't know. But uh, I am excited for this one though. Uh, I've been wanting to check that one out for a while. And I don't have it, so that's another plus. All right, let's see what's next. Okay, this is the Horror Pack uh, exclusive right here. This is a... Uh, uh, I've I briefly heard about this. I remember it was this... There's, I thought there was another release for this where it had this cover. 
uh, right there, which is also reminds me of the actual uh, the other Black Dahlia movie. But this is the uh, the Black Dahlia haunting, and I think it's actually a cool concept from what I can remember uh, about the famous Black Dahlia uh, murder case that I think is still unsolved today. And uh, basically, I think someone goes to Los Angeles, and I guess I think that yeah, the brother is blind, and um, yeah, the brother starts having uh, these dreams and stuff, and is drawing the face of uh, Elizabeth Short, and I guess uh, the Black Dahlia is haunting them. Um, that's all I really know about it. Um, nice blurb from Chris Alexander uh, from Fangoria on the back. So yeah, I, I don't know too much about it. It's basically, I guess, the Black Dahlia case, and I, I, I'm always intrigued by kind of, uh, you know, this uh, true crime stuff and uh, murders that are still unsolved. Um, so looking forward to checking that one out. And again, that is the horror pack exclusive. And then at the bottom for each one, they have like the numbering down there. So that's the 22nd horror pack exclusive. So pretty cool. If you collect them all, you can line them up if you like. Uh, last but not least is another one that I've actually, this one I've heard rave things for. and I don't have this one either. So that's pretty awesome. A bunch of ones that I don't have. Um, Stonehurst Asylum. Again, I, I'm haven't seen this one. I've heard great things about it, actually. I don't know why I kept putting it off. I think partly because I saw a whole bunch of, there's like a wave of these uh, Asylum movies that came out and most of them, you know, were low budget and pretty terrible. So I think that was kind of the thing. I saw this one, but this one has a, a really stellar cast. Ben Kingsley, Kate Beckinsale, Jim Sturgis, uh, Brendan Gleeson, Michael Caine. So an amazing cast. Uh, I feel like it didn't really get, I, I heard a lot of positive things about it, but it didn't get a ton of of, you know, like mainstream buzz, which is surprising given the cast. Um, I heard there's supposed to be like a big twist in here. There's a doctor in here and they're in an asylum. And I guess uh, there's different uh, forms of uh, medicine used. And uh, there's a horrifying discovery. And yeah, I guess uh, it's, uh, it, it's inspired by a short story from Edgar Allan Poe. Um, so yeah, I guess there's a tale of mystery and intrigue and horror. So uh, the cast alone is worth checking it out. I didn't realize that all of these people were in it. Uh, I remember seeing um, like shots of Ben Kingsley, but I didn't realize Kate Beckinsale was the lead. Stunning and talented. Um, so yeah, that's an amazing cast there. So definitely looking forward to checking that out. A whole bunch of uh, surprises right here. Uh, that's awesome. I you know the only one that I've seen was the original Last House on the Left. And then uh, these ones I haven't seen and don't own, so I'm excited for checking these ones out. Let me know if you've seen any of these movies and what you think of them. Am I the only one who isn't a big fan of the original Last House on the Left and prefers the remake? Let me know on that. And uh, which one of these should I watch first of these three? Uh, Resolution, uh, The uh, Black Dahlia Haunting, or uh, Stonehurst Asylum? Let me know. And let me know which is your favorite from that bunch right there from Horror Pack. And that's the horror pack for May. I'm looking forward to checking out the next one. Um, very excited. They're doing a lot of the, the different ones that they're, they're trying to do, like spin-off ones of other genres and uh, stuff like that too. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in the future. Um, I really like that this is something that uh, is out there now. I remember for years they had all these different horror-based subscription services. And I remember saying, like, I wanted one for movies. And it finally happened. I mean, <laughs> it's been around for a while, but I think they deserve way more love. Horror Pack is killing it. So, <laughs> hope everybody's doing well. Take care.